Hello, this is Bonnie Math. I'm going to solve one of the volume questions today. Find the volume of the region R rotated about the y axis, where R is bounded by y equal to x squared, y equal to 0, and x equal to 2. I'm going to solve this question using washer method as well as cylindrical shell method. Before we start any method, uh, just keep in mind, whenever we find the volume, we can use integral a to b and find the area and then times dx. So if we are using washer method, the area will become our circle and times dx. If we use shell method, the cylinder become our area and also before we start I will just start with the writing the formula for cylindrical shell method v is equal to 2 pi integral a to b x times f of x dx and of course you can memorize the formula for washer method too but we have lots of things to memorize anyway, so for washer method, I will just leave it as it is, which is multiplying the formula for circle, pi r squared times dx. So let's start this question now. Start with the drawing, what they mean. So if our graph looks like this and we have y equal to x square oopsie so this is y equal to x square and we have y equal to 0 and x equal to 2 x equal to 2 so the reason bounded by this three graph is here and we are rotating about the y-axis. So rotating y-axis. So if you can imagine, we will have some sort of these kind of volume if you can imagine so first of all uh, if we are using shell method simply plug in all the value here so v is equal to 2 pi integral from we have 0 to 2 0 to 2 times x and our height become this graph which is y equal to x square so x square dx so equal to 2 pi integral 0 to 2 x cube dx so this give us 2 pi times 1 over 4 x to power to 4 from 0 to 2 So it gives us pi over 2 times 2 to the power to 4 minus 0 to the power to 4. So we get 8 pi. And let's try to use washer method. Uh, if we use washer method, we need area as a circle. So we will have to rotate our graph in our head so in other words maybe i will use different color we are getting our volume by let's say c to the d integral c to the d area of y and dy so if you look at this bottom part 
we are starting from zero until four because if you plug two to our y equal to x square you get four for y and our area now is circle so integral zero to four area i will just leave it as r for now pi r square and dy and now we have sort of uh, two r of them because if you just do r as a x equal to 2 we are just getting whole cylinder instead of empty on the bottom so this can be rewritten as integral 0 to 4 pi r2 square minus r1 square dy so r2 square which is the bigger part of bigger circle or outer circle is x e following x equal to 2 so integral 0 to 4 pi r2 which is x equal to 2 so 2 square minus r1 which is inner circle is following by this y equal to x square but we are uh, making the equation with respect to x so we will reread this one x equal to root of y so here we can write root of y square dy so since pi doesn't get affected by integral we can take it out pi integral 0 to 4 4 minus this is root of y square so y dy which is pi times 4y minus 1 over 2y square from 0 to 4. Surprisingly, but obviously, we will get the same answer when we are using shell method. Pi times 4 times 4 minus 1 over 2 times 4 square minus 0 4 times 0 minus 1 over 2 times 0 square so obviously the last part becomes 0 and the first part 4 times 4 16 16 divided by 2 so we also get 8 pi ta-da <laughs> thanks for watching and see you next time